I thought that this, much like Bitcoin, was a zigzag. And that is not the case, okay? A zigzag correction is a 5-3-5 correction. Nicolas, s'il te plaît, c'est toi. A 5-3-5 correction. What's interesting about the 3 is that the 3 retraces between the 0.5 and the 618 of the A wave, okay? So every correction is made up of three waves, right? A, B, C, right? Or W, X, Y sometimes. But you, you, it's essentially ABC because the WXY is comprised of ABC corrections. Now, this B wave, in order to be a standalone, I'm talking, this is the A wave, larger degree. This is the B wave, larger degree. And if this were the B wave, this would be the C wave, okay? But I'm saying that that is incorrect. And that was my analysis before. And why is it incorrect? It's because... Hello everyone, my name's Dean, let's talk crypto. This is where you subscribe for daily Bitcoin updates and technical analysis. We track the price of Bitcoin as a proxy for the cryptocurrency markets at large. Today is January 22nd, 2022, and I'm coming to you again for the second time for an intraday update and for an update on VRA, Veracity. If you're subscribed to the channel, you'll know that I'm a big bag holder of VRA and have been for quite some time. And given market conditions, given my analysis on the larger time frame, I've been looking for opportunities to offload my bags. I haven't found any good ones yet, but I have great news for those of you who hold Veracity, who have held it for this downtrend. I have great news for you. According to my analysis, you will want to hear what I have to say. And so stay tuned for that. I'm going to start off with an intraday update on my Bitcoin analysis for the day, okay? And because we've had a few more candles print, we have some confirmation. So this morning, I was saying how it wasn't yet confirmed that this wave three was finished because I hadn't seen, you know, that much activity in this purported wave four, but it's been now confirmed that this is wave four for many reasons, I'm not going to get into them. Um, but if that is indeed the end of wave three and we are in wave four, the implications are interesting to say the least. Okay. One of the rules in Elliott wave theory is that you cannot have wave three be the shortest wave. It doesn't have to be the longest, but it cannot be the shortest. Okay. That's important because if you measure wave one here, you see that wave one is longer than wave three, okay? That means wave five cannot be longer than wave one or wave three, right? So wave five has to be as long, if not shorter than wave three, okay? So we take the distance or the, the yeah, the, the length of wave three, you superimpose it on the top of four, which would be like here, let's say, maximum retracement of four, and we get about 31K, okay? Remember that number, 31K maximal retracement, okay, of wave five. Now, zooming out on the daily time frame, if you watched my analysis this morning, you'll, you'll know that 31K is significant because if you use the Fibonacci extension tool and you take the distance of wave A, retracement of wave B, you see that the one Fibonacci level, which is usually the target for the C wave of this flat correction, is at 31,657, okay? The one, two, three, six, which is the maximal retracement for the C wave typically in these flat corrections is the is at 23,290. Now, given what we just saw in the last wave, if our analysis is correct in this wave five region, okay, we see that wave five of wave five of wave five cannot retrace beyond 
this one Fibonacci level. So that is likely, we have confluence uh, indicating that that is very likely to be the point at which we reverse course, the point at which we find support finally. And where do we go from there? That's the question. As I said, if you backtest, if you analyze the charts, if you study, you'll see that A waves, okay, be basically waves that break trends, break impulses, they usually retrace to wave four of the larger degree, okay? Now, let's remove this Fibonacci extension table just to see a little more clearly. I've put the Fibonacci or sorry, the Elliott wave uh, marks on this larger wave. This is the larger degree. Okay. Where's wave four? It's right here. This is the region. It's at, it has a top of about 52 and it has a bottom of about 41. Okay. Now, according to my analyses and I've, I've, I've analyzed this, I've back tested it quite a bit. Wave A, so the wave that kind of is a relief rally, it'll quickly jump up to this region. Sometimes it'll test the top of the region. Sometimes it'll slightly breach the region. Sometimes it'll find its way at the 618 of this region, okay? So I've personally set my targets to around here longing to the 618 of this wave four region, which is approximately here. Let's just do our Fibonacci retracement tool from the top of wave four to the bottom. That 618 right now lies at around 48K, okay? So again, the wave A can come all the way to the top, can breach it, or it may find its way only to the 618, around 48K of wave four, which is the larger degree, okay? So that may happen quite swiftly because it's a reaction rally. Again, there's a lot of buying over here. There's a lot of bids over here. There are a lot of people that are looking to get in at this point because that's exactly what happened last time when we reversed course, okay? So that's what I'm seeing. That's my update. We, I think very strongly, given my measurement of wave five, of wave five, of the fifth wave, that 31K is very much likely the support um, where we will bounce. Okay, now moving on to VRA. Let's go to the VRA chart. Okay, now, interestingly enough, I believed, and let's go... We have to look at VRA on the log chart because it's it's that kind of asset. You can't not look at it on the log chart if you want to see enough price action. So I thought that this, much like Bitcoin, was a zigzag. And that is not the case, okay? A zigzag correction is a 5-3-5 five, five correction. Nicolas, s'il te plaît, c'est toi. A 5-3-5 five, five correction. What's interesting about the three is that the three retraces between the 0.5 and the 618 of the A wave, okay? So every correction is made up of three waves, right? A, B, C, right? Or W, X, Y sometimes. But you, you, it's essentially A, B, C because the W, X, Y is comprised of A, B, C corrections. Now, this B wave, in order to be a standalone, okay, I'm talking, this is the A wave, larger degree. This is the B wave, larger degree. And... If this were the B wave, this would be the C wave, okay? But I'm saying that that is incorrect, and that was my analysis before. And why is it incorrect? It's because this is not this is not a standalone B wave. It can't be. Why can't it be? It's because if you take your Fibonacci retracement tool from the top of this A of B, purported A of B, and you see that the B of B doesn't retrace far enough. It only retraces the 3A2. If it was standalone like the one in Bitcoin, it retraces the 618. I'm going to show you really quickly. Let me remove this. I'm going to show you really quickly in Bitcoin what I'm talking about, right? And this was the mistake I was making. I was 
taking Bitcoin's price action and pretty much using my Bitcoin analysis and slapping it on VRA, it's similar, but not exactly the same. Here is a standalone B wave. Why is it a standalone B wave, right? If you take your Fibonacci retracement tool, you'll see from the bottom of this A of B to the top of this A of B, you will see we just kissed the 0.5. That makes it a valid A, B, C. That's all she wrote. That's your B wave. This was your C wave. This is your impulse down. VRA is in a different state. Let's go back to VRA. VRA, my friends, has not completed its B wave. What does that mean? That means this three wave structure is our A wave. This, this, and whatever comes next, which is likely a strong move to the upside, is still our B wave. We're not in a C wave right now, meaning we're not restricted to the 618 of this move. That means more gains for us who have been holding, right? We can potentially sell at a larger, um, a larger, uh, at, at a, a larger position, or we can potentially sell at a larger level or at a, at a higher price rather, right? Because it's likely that this, and I'll tell you exactly where I think it's going to go, right? We haven't dumped completely yet in Bitcoin. I think this next dump, what it's going to do, it's going to bring this down to the 786 of this. And then we get our impulse of the B wave, basically our B wave impulse. Sorry, I actually. Okay, there we go. I, I just I hate stream marks on my charts. I'm a little OCD about that. Um, this, after this, we can expect a five wave impulse, and all of this will be your three-wave, B-wave structure, A of B, B of B, C of B, and then we can start our heinous impulse to the downside, okay? And now let's look at some price uh, price levels, right? So I think that with the remaining drop, just using the Fibonacci retracement tool from here, reason I say we're going to at least come to the 786 is because we're likely this last dump in Bitcoin that's coming is likely it. Okay. Might do one of two things. It might keep this 618, but if it breaches the 618 it, to a significant degree, it has to come at least to the 786. Okay. It's not going to hang out in, in no man's land. It just doesn't do that in retracements. Okay. So it's either going to be bound by this 618. So it's going to come here, do something like this, or it's going to come all the way down here. Now, we or I personally don't care about the price. It can go down to negative two cents. I'm not selling there. I'm waiting to sell at a at a good price, right? I'm selling. I bought low. I'm waiting for it to sell high so it can, in, in the meantime, it can do whatever the heck it wants, right? Um, now, in terms of the ultimate target for VRA after this move, what do I foresee? Okay, we're kind of capped by this 1618, right? We know the maximal retracement of a B wave is the 1618 Fibonacci level of an A wave. So this is my, I'm using my Fibonacci retracement tool from the top to the bottom of A, and I see that the top of A or the, the 1618 is at 16.9 cents, okay? So this B wave, if my analysis is correct, can come all the way up here, okay? But no more, right? So in any case, usually these B waves go to the one, two, three, six in these kinds of more volatile assets. I've seen they come to at least the one, two, three, six. I expect it to breach the one, two, three, six. So I'm expecting a VRA of anywhere between 8.5 and 16.9 cents. That's where I'm looking to sell. That would give us a 
all-time high in VRA. That's what I'm expecting. That is my analysis. That's why I think this is great news because a lot of you may think, okay, if indeed my previous analysis was correct, this is our C wave. Our maximal retracement can only be some, you know, I don't know, to the 618 taking us to three, four cents. That wouldn't make much sense, would it? Because from here, we'd only be going, well, that's a eh, hundred plus percent, right? That's, that's decent. But what the issue with it is Bitcoin would be going 60%, right? Let's, let's just go to Bitcoin really quickly. Bitcoin's in a C wave, right? And let's see the maximal retracement for Bitcoin. Uh, we're on the daily. We can stay on the log. It doesn't matter. Um, actually, yeah, yeah, let's just stay on the log. It's okay. I don't, I don't want to compare apples and oranges. So let's just say this is the C wave. The end is around here. The maximal retracement. Yeah, it wouldn't be 51. I know it's higher than that. Uh, all right, let me get off log. It's just Bitcoin's a, another animal. Anyway, I'm going to get off log because Bitcoin doesn't need a logarithmic scale just to look at its price action in this region, but VRA does uh, because of its volatility and how much it appreciates. Okay, so Bitcoin from here, if it hit its 618, would be going 71%, okay? Although what I just showed you in VRA, if indeed we were in a C wave would be an appreciation of, let's go back on log. It would be an appreciation of something like 100, 150%. That's cool, but that usually it's not two to one. If Bitcoin goes down uh, 70%, VRA goes down uh, 370%, right? Something like that. If if VRA if Bitcoin goes up seventy percent, VRA is gonna go up like seven hundred, right? And that's why, that's why I think that it's more likely this scenario where we can expect VRA to appreciate hundreds of percent, right? Is more likely than not. So I I I do believe that you know we should expect. Um, what I said, hold up. That wouldn't be correct. I'm, I need to go back on log. Uh, let me do that again. Top of A is here. Bottom of A is right there. Um, I'm expecting VRA to appreciate from the lows about 300 to... Let's see where the top of this is. 300 to 800%, okay? That's what I'm seeing. And and that is, you know, that may happen over the course of, let's give give a little time table, uh, roughly. And the way we're going to do this is a very conservative, very simplistic look at this took how long, right? This took how long and this can take how long. So, right, we know corrections are made up in three parts. So we're going to look at the first part of this B wave. And the first part of the B wave took about 100 days, okay? The second part of the B wave took about, I think it's about to be over, 82 days. So I'd say 80 to 100 days, about three months for the impulse, although impulses are typically much faster than corrective waves. So two to three months, I would say, is when we can expect VRA to do this appreciation. In the next two to three months, I expect VRA to appreciate 300 and 800%, write it down. That's my analysis. Hope this was helpful, hope this was useful. Like, if you like substantiated analysis and, and, and analysis that's not afraid to say they were wrong, not afraid to change it up, given more information, right? If you like substantiated analysis, like this video, share it with other VRA bag holders and subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed. And I'll see you guys 
tomorrow for tomorrow's Bitcoin, tomorrow's Bitcoin update. Take care. Bye.